Kevin Allen. Disconcerting and sober. The night, like swaddling wool, has unfolded the last celebratory cry. Even the homeless harmonica man on 23rd Street is asleep beside his cart. The grate over which he lives jutters when the subway passes below. A bellow of warm air disturbs the gristled flange of his beard. If I were properly drunk, I'd attach a myth to this moment, some minor god with cracked fingernails and leathery feet, or perhaps a satyr gone to seed. I could lean down and put a twenty in his pocket, but really, I don't want to touch him. The street lights cut across Chelsea like thin bone sprinters intent on hurling themselves over the Hudson illuminating briefly its thick creosote current. From there to a pace deferred the day's first light as they vault the palisades and pound through the Jersey marshes. Hours will pass before they attain the rust belt, then the uplifted crust of the Rockies, the jagged slide down to the Pacific, halted there by exhaustion, and the sorrow of an ocean that cannot be breached. Held faintly at bay behind the barrier of the East River, the sun's ascension is near palpable. Another hour and its low glare will skitter off what dank refuse has been washed into the streets and awaken one of the homeless from a sodden dream as he braces against the light turning towards the last trace of night's false illumination, to which he offers up his only gift and breathes forth a sound richly harmonic. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Um, I'll do uh, one more. Um, Tony, I think it was you who described one of your poems as love lost. Um, and uh, that's, there you go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swipe that from you. This is called The Loves. Uh, 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 actually, if anything, it might remind some of the, the for those who would know, the uh, Warren Zevon song, uh, in terms of the title. This is, uh, this is Lawyers, Guns, and Therapy. <laughs> I need a lawyer to take my hand and tell me everything is going to be all right. One who's got a monogram brown leather satchel under his arm, wherein are the means of my consolation. Whether they're relevant to my life or not, it doesn't matter. He's got a writ of habeas corpus and a pocket-sized bill of rights, a flask of whiskey and some other person's divorce papers, brass knuckles and an anarchist brief, a half-depleted prescription of Vicodin, and a copy of the Constitution folded up like a map. Like a map that's forsaken compass points, because really, who the hell knows what the right direction is? Which is why he's also got a Glock inside the satchel, which I'm thinking of using to protect myself from myself. And he's got two spare quips to go along with it, in case I need them. In case every time I hold the barrel to my temple, I keep missing. I don't know where the bullet goes. I think it's afraid to come out of the chamber. It senses the dark inside my head and will not venture there, which is fine. The lawyer's pulled my hand down from my head, takes away the gun, and in its place puts a pen between my thumb and trigger finger. A Mont Blanc, burgundy and red, says he's drawing up the papers now to just be patient. 
that I should imagine my signature on the contract. How happy I'll be. Thank you.